Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick follow-up video uh, on, the tigle, uh, on the toggle icon video. Um, I don't edit these, so that's going to stay in there. Um, basically, I couldn't let that work, like that whole like workaround go, um, and it just kept bugging me. Um, and I eventually uh, kind of narrowed it down to what was going on, and it's an issue with um flutterflow not properly parsing the json um into the integer list for the likes um so basically what i did was i just created this function right here um and ba what i'm doing with it is let me go right here so on uh let me remember where this was uh, basically, okay, yeah, I think I remember now. It's, uh, I'm doing the call before I get to the page, uh, like I was before, and I'm doing it, I think, on my nav bar. So, nav bar, or on my home screen. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, basically, here we go. Okay. So I'm, I'm basically getting it on the home screen, on page load. And the way I'm doing it now is uh, I'm basically doing it for all, my, all the posts that I've liked and the comments that I've liked. Um, and I'm going to update them separately just to ensure that it works. And the way I'm doing it is I'm just running it through this custom function, the JSON to integer list. And so that way, uh, and then I'm just grabbing the output of these API calls. Uh, so, and th this way it's parsing it directly and then I can set them in the app state. And that way I don't even have to do it from the page state. So if we go back to the page where this is on um, and then we can click on the toggle icon we're basically grabbing it from the app state and there's no longer a need to do it through page state. Um, and then, yeah, we're just matching it with the ID of every single post or whatever posts. And you can see, um, basically, okay. I don't have a session running right now. So anyways, yeah, that's essentially what I did. And it's a pretty, uh, simple fix for the time being. Um, and yeah, I hope uh, this helps someone. It's unfortunate that the the parsing issue exists and that you're going to have to use custom code um, when you really shouldn't have to. Um, and, and that's exactly what, like, what led me to believe that was the issue was uh, how I was having to pass it through the parameter to get it to work. And that was the only way it was working. Um, but yeah. So uh, if you want to store stuff like that, uh, yeah, I hope this helps. Oh, and, and just a quick follow-up about uh, the post. Uh, it did not get deleted as far as I can tell, and eventually people started commenting on it, um, but it did get moved by the mods, I guess, uh, without my knowledge to the suggestions and feedback. So that's just a quick update on that. Uh, so I hope you guys, uh, benefit from these videos and, uh, keep on building and reach out if you need any help. Thanks.